Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Nishita. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Today's video is going to be a review of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Uh, I got one or two requests to do a review on this uh, foundation. Today's uh, foundation review is going to be a little bit different, uh, you know, as compared to my other foundation reviews. Uh, Today I'm not going to do the wear test. I've already tested this foundation out uh, on my own time. So I'm just going to sit here and talk about my experience with this foundation and how I wore it in different ways and how it performed on each day. So as I talk, I'm going to include close-ups of the foundation when I first wore it and also close-ups of the foundation at the end of my day. Uh, so that way I can talk more about the foundation and also show you guys some uh, visuals of me wearing this foundation. And I'm totally ready with my notes here. So let's jump into it. For starters, uh, this uh, foundation claims to have a natural radiant finish which is going to be long wearing and also waterproof. And on the packaging itself, you can see that it's alcohol free, uh, it's non-comedogenic and it's also suitable for sensitive skin types, which are the things that I look for because I personally have sensitive skin. And I was also looking at the ingredients list, this doesn't have any fragrance. And even when you smell the foundation, uh, there is no added fragrance in it, which I really love. Uh, and this foundation comes in 50 different shades uh, and it retails for 38 US dollars you get a standard of a one fluid ounce of product in this so the packaging comes with a pump I got the shade 345C which on the website I see that it has cool golden peach undertones uh, which is actually a really good match for me. I went to the store and swatched it. Uh, it was looking a little bit uh, dark at the store when I swatched it on my hand but as I blend it out it actually looks uh, really fine. I didn't uh, bring any foundation on my neck today. As you can see it matches my skin really well and with concealer and everything I feel like the shade is a good match for me. Uh, and the other shade that I was looking at when I was at the store was 335W uh, which is medium skin with a warm peach undertone. That shade was way too light for my skin tone and the shade after this is way too dark. So this is like a good match out of the 50 shades that they have. So if you're closer to my skin tone I would say try this particular shade. By the way this foundation oxidizes a little bit like as soon as you apply it it changes its color but I didn't notice any kind of oxidization after that. On day one I applied this with a beauty blender. Uh, it blended out beautifully and a little bit goes a really long way with this foundation. You don't need to use a lot of it. And when you first apply it, it has this dewy finish, but it kind of uh, dries down once you give it some, uh, some time. But throughout the day, when you don't powder your skin, you can see that it gives you, your skin this nice radiance, which I really like. So on day one, uh, I started to notice that the foundation looked a little bit shiny in my T-zone in about three hours. That day I was out and about. So, you know, it did start to look a little bit shiny. So I kept powdering my skin uh, and because of that uh, you know the foundation started to look uh, cakey in certain areas so on day one uh, I wore this foundation for nine hours and it did last uh, for the whole nine hours on me uh, except you know the slight cakiness here and there and one more thing I noticed that because you know it becomes shiny in my teaser it was you know slightly exaggerating my pores and I used uh, with the mattifying primer just on one side uh, and to be honest the primer didn't make a lot of difference and on day two I applied this foundation with a brush uh, again it blended out beautifully no issues whatsoever and I felt like with the brush I got a little bit more coverage and also the foundation stayed matte for a longer time than when compared to a dampened a beauty blender so if you have dry skin I would say use a beauty blender but if you have oily skin I would say go with a brush uh, even though it has this nice radiance uh, it doesn't look overly dewy uh, at first it does but then it kind of uh, dries down to a naturally radiant finish which I really like on second day the foundation performed way better on my skin uh, than when compared to day one. On second day it didn't uh, look as oily so I didn't powder my skin all that much and it stayed uh, good for a really long time. But again at the end of the day I started to notice that it was looking a little bit shiny in my t-zone. But other than that on day two I really loved how this foundation looked on my skin. The foundation feels very lightweight on the skin. It blends beautifully and it's very hydrating as well. So the foundation has a medium coverage uh, but you can build it up a little bit more but it's not going to be like a super full coverage by any means. The foundation doesn't sink into my smile lines which I really like and I did uh, do flash photography personally I did not notice any kind of flash with the sense and it also claims that it's not going to give you flashback. Powders and creams both blend beautifully on top of this foundation. I've tried this with cream contour and today I'm wearing like a powder bronzer on top. Even though it's a dewy foundation when I'm uh, blending out the rest of my products I don't see any kind of skipping like products blend out beautifully no issues there. Uh, it, since it's very long wearing it grabs onto all of your blush and contour really well like before and after nine hours I 
can still see my you know blush and highlighter intact uh, even though uh, it feels a little bit tacky when you first apply it it kind of dries down and i didn't see any kind of a transfer after that it's actually a really beautiful finish because you know it's not overly drying but at the same time it's not too dewy to a point where the foundation starts to transfer so those are all the good things that i noticed about this foundation but coming to the cons like i already mentioned it slightly exaggerates my pores uh, because of the radiant finish that this one has and it makes me look oily in my t-zone by the end of the day but to be honest i kind of see that happening with almost uh, all of my foundations these days so that's not really a con for me personally but i just wanted to let you guys know one of you in the comment section also asked me to compare this uh, with the fenty hydrating foundation that i recently reviewed on my channel uh, to be honest uh, the fenty one stays a little bit longer when compared to the anastasia one uh, and even that one makes me oily in my t-zone but uh, so if you're looking for the lasting power i'd say the fenty one definitely wins but other than that i personally prefer the anastasia one because this does not have any fragrance in it whereas the fenty one does have fragrance to summarize it's a beautiful lightweight easy to blend out hydrating foundation and i think it's more suitable for normal combination and dry skin types if you have oily skin types i honestly cannot speak for you because i personally don't have very oily skin uh, but for me it performed really well and i would like to rate this foundation a b plus a being the highest you know just because it made me look a little bit shiny and exaggerated my pores uh, but all in all i think it's a great foundation so if you can find a shade that matches your skin tone and if you're looking for a good hydrating foundation i'd say definitely give this one a try so those are my thoughts on the new anastasia luminous foundation let me know in the comments down below do you prefer this kind of review Review or the reviews that I usually do on my channel whatever you guys choose I'm gonna stick with that so that completes this video I hope you guys found it helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next one bye